This is uh, August 20th. We're uh, staying at Taylor Park Trading Post in a cabin. And we're headed out early in the morning to go up to American Flag. When you leave the trading post, you go down and turn around. You can't go on the paved road over here headed this way. So they have a road trail, this trail here. That so you can uh, get over to uh, where you can ride on 742. But you're not allowed to drive on the pavement uh, right in this area here. There's only a little little section of pavement that side by sides are allowed to to ride on. We've been uh, to American Flag several times, but uh, it's one of our places we like to go when we're out here. It's a nice ride. Now this is what this is where you come out and you can ride on the pavement for a little ways. But you're headed back back uh, towards or the that's Cottonwood Pass Road right there. But this is. Uh, 742 that's what you want to be taken we always like to go uh, to American flag in the morning because you get there uh, earlier in the morning uh, there's usually not anybody up there or very few people it's one of the more popular places for people to go to so we kind of like it not to be crowded when we go and when we got there we were the only ones there which which was fine with us but but this is the road you're on it's 742 and uh, I don't know how but my wife every time she's been out there she spotted uh, moose well, they got these two uh, little uh, lakes it's called Pothole 1, Pothole 2, for fishing and stuff. Well, at, when we came by Pothole Number 1, how she spotted them, I don't know, but she spotted two, two moose standing out into the water. Pothole Number 1 here, like I said, it's uh, a fishing area. How she spotted these moose, I don't know, but there's two moose standing out at her. So we stopped and took a few pictures. But uh, they were even still out there when we came back after after riding all day. It was in the after, late afternoon we came back and they were still out there. But uh, you'll see how she spotted, I don't know. Can you see them out there? There's two moose standing out there. Very hard to see. But uh, I zoomed in. But my wife's been out there, I think, three times, and she spotted moose every time. But anyways, there's there's some moose. But you go on down the road a little bit farther, and you come to pothole number two, and there is an outhouse there. So if you got your wife or something, you can stop there for them. But uh, not very far from there, you turn onto road uh, 759. It's real close to pothole number number two. 
and it's called a road on the map and it starts out it's it is kind of a service road but it gets harder and rougher the farther you go on it just so you know nothing bad but it's something you wouldn't want to be taking your car down for sure Yeah, there's the sign you come to it says four wheel drive only from that point on. We, uh, we like going to American flag. We like the ride to it. It's uh, some of the times, like this time, we're out here by ourselves, so you don't want nothing too rough. But it is, it does have enough places in it to make it fun. It isn't just road, and it is a real scenic, uh, scenic ride to the to the mountain. Some uh, beaver dams and beaver ponds down through this bottom area here. Now I uh, I'm still trying to get to my thousand subscribers. That's when I'm editing this uh, video. I think I'm at 969. I'd uh, appreciate it if anybody would consider subscribing if they help me out here if I get to the thousand then make a dollar or two maybe and help finance some of my trips This will give you an idea what the what the ride is from uh, Taylor Park to American Flag. There's nothing real rough, but there are some pretty rocky areas. Now there is a area out here that has is private property, so you got to be careful not to to go the wrong way and get on some of the private property. They have signs up, so if you're paying attention, you'll be all right. Little rundown uh, building there. I don't know what it was, but every year I go out there, it's a little more Ward down. You know, it's there is some little rocky areas to go on, but nothing that if you just take your time, you can get through it without any problems. is almost to the base of the mountain where you start going up uh, the American flag when you get up to the top it's kind of a big flat area so going up is a 
wide trail. Now this is this is headed up at here, and it's fairly steep, but nothing nothing rough. The trail does kind of kind of wind around. It gets close to the edge up here in a couple of spots, but it's not bad. You are getting up pretty high here. Then, uh, right at straight ahead is where the flag is. It's out on a little outcrop there that you can walk out on. All right, this is the top of American flag. Twelve thousand seven hundred and thirty feet is what mine says, and. It was 21.4 miles from Taylor Park from our cabin to get to here. If you can walk out here to the flag, uh, this year they had the American flag and somebody has put a, a Trump flag underneath it there. You can see you're up high. That's a big area of the park and stuff. There's usually a lot of people up here, especially if you come later in the day. And you're getting out pretty close to the edge where the flag is on the back side of that. There's not much room. Oh, there is a little patch of snow left. Yeah, this is a little later in the year than we would normally have went out, and most of all the snow was gone, but there were a few places that were that were in shadowy areas that hadn't melted off yet. I appreciate everybody that's been watching my videos and that have subscribed and like I said I just need to get a few more subscribers and <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to at least make one dollar after all this time I never started out thinking that I would even uh, come close to getting a thousand subscribers but just over time it edged up and edged up so I think I can make it before I die <laughs> I don't know but uh, this here give you an idea what the American flag is. Like I said, if you get up there early in the morning, you can have it to yourself. Later in the day, uh, there'll be people up here, almost guaranteed. When we headed back down, we ran into people coming up. I don't know, about four or five groups. But my uh, next video I'll put out in about a week will be going up the trail at uh, Papa Taylor Pass. And... Uh, that's one of the one of the places we like to, to go to too. But uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. Check back in about a week.